New rainfall is in the forecast for Texas, threatening hundreds more homes with devastating flooding. Several days of rain have swollen rivers and lakes to near record levels. At least two people are dead. Mark Strassman is in Kingsland, Texas. I would say it probably came up five or six feet in a matter of 15 minutes. 15 minutes? Yeah, so it was that fast. At Scott Turner's home here in Kingsland, Texas, the rush of early morning flood water caught his family completely off guard. We got all the stuff out of my wife's office and moved it into the house. And as soon as we got it into the house, then the house started flooding. So we didn't really have a chance to get anything out. So. And what was going through your mind? I mean, look, you, you make your living on the water. Just, so you know, you're going just through your going through your head, just, just thinking what you can get out. And, you know, at that point, there was nothing. There was nothing we could do. His story echoes across central Texas, where rising floodwaters have become increasingly dangerous. Rescue crews have saved dozens of people, including this rescue we came across yesterday. Two men in an SUV trapped in a ditch after they tried to cross a flooded road. Now authorities are doing what they can to limit the damage. At Mansfield Dam, four floodgates are open to drain water from overflowing Lake Travis. Four more are expected to open today. The current water level of Lake Travis is about 700 feet, which has already caused flooding in dozens of homes. If it rises another 14 feet, the water will flow uncontrolled from the dam, submerging entire communities. Back upstream, Scott Turner is just right. trying to pick up the pieces. You think he's seen the worst of it? Yes, I hope. Fingers yeah. crossed. Yeah, I don't think it could get any worse. The Turners live a half mile from the Lano River, but it was still too close. You can see how high the water came up inside their house from the watermark in this bookcase, and now most of their indoor furniture is stacked outdoors, very little of it salvageable. And there's more rain, more potential flooding in the forecast today. Gail? Mark, thank you.